This news campaign 2019 voters in some 22 cities and towns are casting ballots this primary day. If you haven't voted yet, you still have a little time. The polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. Now we have team coverage of the key races. Channel 3's Matt McFarland is in New Haven. We'll start, though, with our chief capital reporter, Susan Raff, live outside Hartford City Hall. Susan? Denise, it certainly has been a very busy day. Campaign signs have been popping up all over the capital city, and there are plenty of races, plenty of candidates, but the race that seems to be generating the most interest, the race for mayor. And all that last-minute campaigning seems to be coming to an end, and soon we will know who the winner is. Hartford is a city that continues to struggle. While improvements have and are being made, residents feel quality of life is not what it should be. We need a lot of libraries. We need a library for the kids to go and mean have fun. Every other district has a library that's very intriguing to the kids. We have nothing. What's important to me is education, education, because I think that's where it starts from. It starts from uh, educating young youths, uh, uh, getting them, they're ready in their mindset to go out there in the world. While graduation rates have improved, Hartford still deals with poverty and a lack of jobs. Mayor Luke Bronin has helped get the city on a stronger financial path. We've run a campaign that's focused on the issues, that's focused on uh, our record, but most of all, that's uh, about all the work that we have left to do in the city of Hartford. The president administration has concentrated in some parts of the city and, and has not been able to manage the basic services that people expect, whether it's potholes, whether it's the schools. Former Mayor Eddie Perez was elected three times if he doesn't win the primary, his campaign says he has enough signatures to be on the ballot in November as a petitioning candidate. Representative Brandon McGee has a list of things he's ready to take on. Man, <laughs> violence, education, we're talking about housing situations uh, that people are faced with with rodents. The polls close at 8 o'clock tonight, and generally in a primary, turnout is not very high, could be about 20 percent or less, and if that happens, we should know results hopefully by 10 o'clock tonight. The race for mayor in New Haven is also a hot one and has captured a lot of attention, and for that we go now live.